but it's also a good refatting agent okay what is a refatting agent so let, let's say you are making shampoo for instance when you use shampoo to wash your hair it tends to strip your hair. To the channel in today's video i'm going to show you two popular solubilizers that you can use to mix essential oil with water so naturally essential oil will not mix with water so you need a raw material that will turn your solubilizer your oil your essential oil into a liquid format that can naturally mix with water so it will not naturally mix with water but when we add a solubilizer to it when you mix a solubilizer with with heat when you add water, it's going to mix together. So naturally you will not. Essential oil or any oil for that matter will not mix with water. In formulation, you need a solubilizer. When you introduce a solubilizer to your oil, when you mix it together and you add water to it, everything will combine together. Now, I don't want to explain the chemistry behind it because this is not what this video is all about. So let's talk briefly about two popular solubilizers and how to use them in formulation. Number one I'm talk going to talk about is Polysobe 20. As you all know, it's a very, very popular solubilizer. It's cheaper, okay? So it's readily available. You can find it at most uh, ingredient uh, supplier. So basically, how do you use uh, Polysorbate 20? Before I go further, I'm going to tell you the difference between these two. Olive M300 is also a solubilizer, but it's also a good refatting agent. Okay? What is a refatting agent? So let, let's say you are making shampoo, for instance. When you use shampoo to wash your hair, it tends to strip your hair. The, 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 the function of a refatting agent is to replenish some of the oil that has been lost during that process of washing. So what I'm going to tell you today is that when you're making hair care products, you can use Olivem 300 because it's a good refatting agent or any cleansing product. Go for Olivem 300 as your solubilizer of choice. And when you're making skincare products, go for polysorbate 20. You ask me what about polysorbate 60, polysorbate 80. I'm going to make another video for those also. Those are useful for solubilizing your uh, carrier oils, okay? They are stronger molecules and their purpose is to solubilize your carrier oil, okay? All that strong oil. Now, that being said, these two, use this for skincare, use this for hair care and any uh, any product that you're going to wash off the skin so that's about it for these two so let me now show you how to use each of them so let's go first with polysorbate 20 how do you use it basically you when you had your oil okay then you can add three times of this okay basically if you're using 0 0.4 or you can have two to three times when you're using so let's say I want to make a toner now and I have to use 0 0.5 gram of my essential oil right then I'll add one gram two of that one gram or 1.5 gram of my polysorbate 20 so that's basically how to use it so all you have to do is measure your essential oil so let's say I want to use so I'm going to take my scale so um, I can give you ac accurate measurement so how do you use polysorbate 20? You're going to use it twice or three times the amount of the essential oil you are using for your formulation. So let's say I want to use 0 0.5 gram of essential oil. I will measure 0 0.5 gram of my essential oil first. Make sure you are using an accurate precision scale. I highly recommend it. Go and watch my previous video to see my recommended precision scale. My scale of joy is caught by Hawaii's. You will see on this channel. So to that, I'm going to add one gram of polysorbate 20 to solubilize it. So add one gram of polysorbate 20. Then you will mix it very well. When you are using, uh, using polysorbate, you necessarily do not need it, okay? Make sure you mix very well. That's your first step. Then another thing you want to do here, maybe if you have a, if you have a, let me not go into that. I don't want to confuse you. But what I wanted to say is that maybe when you have 
uh, preservative that is not uh, that can naturally not mix with water you can also add it to it but not the scope of this video so now that you have mixed make sure you mix it very well make sure you mix it very well if you're wondering what I'm using I'm using a stirrer see the description box for how to if you want to get it so you add water to it so add water to it after mixing it And as you can see, everything mixed together. Now, the problem with most polysorbate is that they turn cloudy. Okay, oftentimes they turn cloudy and it may take them 24 to 48 hours clear, I mean. So just keep that in mind when you are using polysorbate 20, it may turn your for, uh, formulation cloudy. And it's also, it all depends 24 to 48 hours and in certain cases it may not even get clear so when you are doing that make sure you keep that in mind if you want to make a clear clear solution okay with essential oil pass you don't want polysorbate but if clarity is not your problem go for polysorbate 20 very uh, cheap and easy to get okay you can get it at uh, major cosmetics sub ingredient suppliers so that is for polysorbate 20 if you have any question about what I just show you feel free to drop the comment in the comment box below now let's go quickly to the next one is solubilizer is uh, olive m300 olive m300 is very strong so that's no and it's expensive also okay it's also a good refatting agent and it's also a very strong fragrance solubilizer so when you have a fragrance or essential oil you want to mix with water first mix olive m300 with it so basically just like i did before i'm going to measure my essential oil i'll measure 0 0.5 gram of essential oil to that i'm going to add one part of olive m300 it's a strong solubilizer so you don't want to uh, it's also expensive so you don't want to overuse it so to that I'm going to have 0.5 gram of olive and 300 sorry I overuse it just make sure you add 0.5 gram of olive and 300 then you mix it then you add the water and your formula to it Okay, the same process for olive m300 do not worry within 24 hours the cloudiness will go okay it will also get cloudy no problem but within 24 hours it usually clears by itself okay and that's about it so how can you how do you, what do you use this for when you want to make room spray with your essential oil room spray kitchen um you want to add fragrance to your toner facial mist and so on and so forth this is when you use a solubilizer all you have to do is just add your essential oil with your solubilizer first then add the water part of your uh, formula then you add other ingredients and don't forget also check uh, the ph of your ingredient to make sure it's compatible with that of the skin if you're making skincare product and uh, when you're making a uh, sp uh, room spray, you don't need to worry too much about checking the pH. Uh, that's about it for this video. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video. In my next video, which you have to stay tuned for, if you have not subscribed, don't forget to click subscribe button. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to make green tea facial mist. So stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss that. Thanks for joining me today and happy formulating.